You're in our film shot. You're in our shot. You do not want no police car. To the creators of R.I.P. Rich D. To get more specific, this letter is addressed to D. Real, No Noise, Man, BJ, Yoram Zavion, and Yak Films. This letter is in memory of Rich D. My name is Nyla Faroz. I am a first year student at the University of Chicago studying cinema and media studies. I am black. I am proud. I am thankful for you. I watched your video at the beginning of April and it struck a chord in me. I grew up on streets similar to the ones captured in your video. I expressed myself in freestyle dance surrounded by and present in the hip hop community. My dance style is popping. I am also all too familiar with being subjected to racially charged interactions and surveillance from police because of my identity. I revisit your video now at the start of June a point in 2020 that seems so different it is painfully similar to the days leading up to it. I watch your video and it gives me strength. I feel solidarity. Our community is beautiful. I know I am not alone and I hope you all are aware of the same. I hope you are faring well mentally, physically, and emotionally during this time. And I wish the same for any of your black friends and family enduring these painful times. You expressed emotion in the video through an unspoken language. Allow me to share with you some of the questions that arise within me as I watch. Hey, can I get in there, sir? It's not for me, man. How many other people have you lost? What is the change that you wish to see? <laughs> what are you thinking as you watch the news in this present moment? To be completely candid, these questions were already swirling in my brain before watching the video. Power. Power. They likely come to mind now in search of the solidarity I have felt amongst my fellow black peers, especially in the similarities and differences regarding our questions and our answers. I find comfort in the validation amongst hearing shared experiences. I find comfort in the variety of the differences. Yeah, on the concrete though, dog. Because as a community, we are all unique individuals with our own voices that must be heard. There are many things I have to say, though it is difficult to get my thoughts in order. Before I end this letter, I would like to share some poems I wrote amongst the chaos. Red colors passion and anger and love affairs and stains concrete when my brothers try to walk home. Orange tastes like breakfast and vitamin C and looks like tanning stations in the Oval Office. Yellow marks dandelions on rooftops at dawn and cricket teeth asking me to smile some more. Green grows like ivy, stacks up in rubber bands and spills sick as execution is black exposure. Blue is on our veins, our sky, our berries, our birds, our skin as we're battered into obedience. Indigo fills the fields your children grow up in, and rolls in storms over fields my people worked in. Violet turns grape to jelly, and winter to lint, and pavement of my organs as they walk forward. If I die tonight, send a letter to my grave if I die tonight. Call out the loss of a slave if I die tonight. Tomorrow begins, and I forgot to say, Remember the love I gave if I die tonight. Fill my lungs in case I lose breath to talk up the absence of silence I'll crave if I die tonight. Bury me in pages delivered with love. Fill the ground with papers I'll save if I die tonight. Color the world black and burn it into my eyes to see the new world you'll pave if I die tonight. Write down before you forget the name. Rest in peace, Rich D. Rest in peace to so many others. May their memories live on forever. Best, Nyla Furrows.